Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a few tips to help you stay on top of online classes, which I'm sure a lot of you are gonna be doing this fall. It's really easy to be forgetful about deadlines, especially when it's online and you have multiple courses and there is no instructor in person to remind you what is due. And that's why the first thing I always do on the first day of classes is to take the syllabus from each course, scroll down to the section for due dates, and input all of these dates into my calendar using a color coding system. For colors, I always use red for any quizzes or exams because they're usually pretty important and so I want them to stand out to me. I pick random colors for other categories such as assignments, presentations, events, etc. so you can get a bit creative with that. You'll probably come out with a pretty satisfying looking calendar in the end and as you'll see I've done this for pretty much every semester and this works well for both in-person and online classes. Another creative way to get organized with dates is to use Notion, which I'm not going to go into detail about as I have a whole video on this, as well as a free template for it, so I'll link that on the screen here and in the description box. Another tip to stay organized is to prepare folders on your devices in advance, since you'll probably be encountering a lot of online files rather than paper. It's really easy to avoid having files in random locations and being unable to find anything just by creating a straightforward file sorting system that goes by course. So you'll see that I create an umbrella folder for the entire semester and then I have subfolders for each course. Then under each course, I will create folders by week. You can also pin folders to quick access so you can get to them directly from the sidebar. This will make it easy to navigate through weekly content and I'll know exactly where to find things when I need them. It will also make organizing for midterms and finals easier because you will have already sorted the content and can easily navigate to the weeks that will be tested. So these are just some examples of how I would organize my files on my note-taking apps. My last tip for you is to update your tasks frequently and review your to-dos at the end of each class. Like I said earlier, it's really easy to lose track of what you need to do for online classes, so it's important that you have somewhere where you can write down specific to-dos and check them off. I recommend Google Keep for this. I have a whole video on using this as part of a simple organization system, but I like it because you can actually make different notes for each course, make checkboxes for each task, and actually tick them off as you go. I would update these throughout each class and write them down as soon as you hear about it, and then review your to-dos at the end of each class or lecture so you have a clear idea of what you actually need to do before the next class or lecture occurs. The common theme throughout these tips is taking initiative and being proactive early on so you don't fall behind later. If you follow these tips, you're definitely going to feel a lot more efficient, productive, and on top of your game. Thanks to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can explore a lot of different interests and discover your creative side through thousands of fun classes from illustration and design to marketing and web development, among lots more. And a lot of them are also short and easy to fit into any schedule. I've personally been loving the artsy classes and as you can see, I've saved quite a few of them so I can keep fueling my creative skills during my free time. The great thing is that Skillshare also offers a lot of opportunities for members to explore other interests like how to become more productive, such as that offered in this class by a well-known YouTuber, Thomas Frank. You can become a member for less than $10 a month with annual subscription and get unlimited access to thousands of these fun classes. The first thousand people to click the link in my description box will get two months free trial of premium Skillshare membership. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you'll find the tips useful. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more. Here are some other videos from my channel that I recommend.